what's up you guys so I'm just here to do like a video of just me talking so I guess it's a let's talk video I don't know why I always dance after saying that um I just been sitting here thinking about so much stuff and I hopefully this isn't long if it is I apologize you don't have to watch it all you guys know I like to talk and right now I just need to vent because you guys all know I've been going through so 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 much stuff in my life from financial issues to battling depressing thoughts and feelings to being emotionally a wreck to physical angst it's just been one heck of a roller coaster so I am sweaty my face is shiny I think I'm getting a pimple right here and whatever but I'm here and I'm doing this video and I'm going to rant and I'm going to talk. One, I'm not happy with my physical appearance. It seems like since I've had my son, it's like I lost a little bit of weight but gained it right back. It's like uh, depression. That's causing some of my depression. Uh, feeling not satisfied with myself. Um is adding to already depressing issues that I feel because my life is just really random right now like I'm not happy in my skin and it's crazy because like people don't yep yeah. first thing I'm gonna talk about is um, my weight you guys know that if you've been a subscriber for since I've been on YouTube from my first channel to this channel and some of my earlier videos that I've battled with my weight. I know people are like, oh, you know, I hear it all the time. Oh, you're so pretty. You know, you're, you're not fat. You're not big. You're thick or you look nice. I'm fat. <laughs> and that's not me hearing someone tell me that it's not because I'm off the charts because on the charts I'm considered morbidly obese anything that has morbid on it is never something good I want to hear and it's not just that and it's and it's not the fact that I um am going off of that or if I have low self-esteem you know I've always had self-esteem issues but they've gotten better but my recent weight gain is making those issues kind of rise up a little bit more um, I'm just not happy at the weight that I am and it's not even that like I feel like I look disgusting sometimes I do um, but since having my son I gained like 35 extra pounds and like right after having him I lost a lot of weight and then it's like it came back in like two days Granted, I was eating cookies and cake and chips and all that good stuff, but yeah. And also because when I get sad, I'm an emotional eater. So when I get sad, I eat. Then I get sad about eating and I eat some more. And it just goes all downhill from there. So I've packed one. If you can notice, my face is like... Got my gobbler, bat wings, and I have this belly that I've never had before. So, um, needless to say, I'm not happy with the weight that I am. And I know there's people like, if you're not happy about it, do something about it. True. True. And right now, I guess I'm just in the stage of trying to figure out what course of action I want to take. Yes, I need to work out. But also in the same sense, it's like, I've gotten to a point physically where like how I used to just be like I'm going to just go hard and, and work out I can't even do some of the stuff that I used to be able to do to lose weight because my knee is like tweaking out because of the weight gain right isn't that real ignorant like you gain weight it affects your body in a manner where you can't even do exercises to lose weight so I guess I'm going to just focus on basically like changing my eating habits and things like that so I'll keep you guys updated on that I've even looked into surgeries um right now I'm just researching a lot of stuff hold on Eli's crying 
if I don't have to get surgery, if I don't have to, I don't want to have surgery. Because I'm not, I'm like one of those people that like, I'm just like terrified of going under the knife for anything. And regardless of how I lose the weight, I'm going to have loose skin. It looked like now, I just got up and went into the living room and came back. And I got a little bit of hefty breathing. So... It's something that I have to deal with and I know everyone's like just diet and do that but it's like I have to wrap my mind around doing that because I can start a diet like I have in the past I can change my eating habits I can take a diet weight loss supplements pills and all that only to go hard for like three weeks a month two months and then just fall off end up right back where I'm at my thing is I feel like it's more of a mental thing with me like food is my crutch when I'm happy let's go eat when I'm sad let's go eat when I'm angry give me the ice cream and chips Urgh. like food is my comfort like and I think it's also the fact that I'm comfortable being a big girl but I'm not if that makes sense like I'm comfortable because I've pretty much always been big but I'm uncomfortable because sometimes I feel gross sometimes I feel um like the hardest thing for me I love clothes I love dressing nice and looking cute and I'm at a size now where I can't fit nothing to the point where I'm like, I'm about to go get my sewing machine and sew me like 27 moo's and wear them on one. Like, or when I do put something on, I just look. I don't look like how I look in it. I don't like how I feel in it. I don't like my clothes to be tight and snug. To the point where I've pretty much just been wearing like yoga pants. Yeah, it's gotten that bad. And and it's making me um my uh my appearance just isn't I'm so unhappy with it that like I don't want to really do anything to my hair. I don't want to wear makeup. I don't want to accessorize. I don't want to do any of that stuff. I just feel bleh. And it's just adding to my depressive state. And it's just all bad. So I'm not sure how I'm going to combat that. But I know that I'm tired of being this big girl. I'm tired of being, oh, you're pretty for a big girl. I'm tired of, oh, you got big. But you still got time. It's baby. My son is nine months. Yeah. Baby is not the reason why I weigh what I weigh. So I've really been looking at different things. I think I'm going to go to the doctor and see a nutritionist. Um, Talk to them. Uh, and hopefully start working out. Maybe I'll find some like... And I feel so... And another thing, I feel so... Uh, out of it I don't want to go to a gym I don't want anyone to see me sweating and breathing hard and and and, and all of that like and it's not even about being seen by them but I just feel uncomfortable I feel uncomfortable in this body uh you know and this is a hard place to be and I was here before I dealt with this in high school you know that's how I developed the eating disorder and uh, I don't know I just I'm not sure, and I guess I'm just sharing this with you guys to see maybe if someone has any uh, tips, tricks, pointers. I don't know. Like, I just, I just feel like a blob. It's making me depressed a little bit. I mean, it, it's a part of the depression that I feel. This is a part of that depression that I've been going through. Um, it's about a third of it. And the more uncomfortable I feel with who I am and the more I don't like what I see when I look in the mirror, rather than do something drastic to change that, it's like, and it's hard because I'm still breastfeeding. And whatever I intake or outtake, my baby gets, so it, it's just so much. I'm just tired of talking about being fat. So this is my fat part. But it's probably like 10 minutes. What are y'all thoughts? Like, I mean, some of my plus size lady and then okay there's nothing wrong with being plus size like I said I love 
confident plus size women women that look good feel good if you feel happy and if you feel good in your skin i love you and that's awesome i'm saying for me this is the biggest i've ever been and i feel uncomfortable in my skin like i was 50 pounds lighter still considered plus size and was completely happy because one i was healthy i could run a mile and not die I could walk up the steps and not breathe hard. My knee wasn't hurting due to extra weight gain. So it's not that I'm coming against being plus size because if you're plus size and you are healthy and, and you are comfortable, then kudos to you. I'm not. So therefore, I need to change that. And that's one of the issues I'm dealing with. So please don't think I'm on here fat bashing because I'm not. Look at me. Y'all know me. I've been, I advocate for y'all. I think women are beautiful no matter what size. It's just that when you start to feel uncomfortable in your skin, that's a problem. Because then that starts to affect my self-esteem. And it's just all downhill from there. So, what? how do you guys combat these feelings? Or what, what, what are... I don't know. I don't even know what to say to leave in the comments or email or whatever. It's just... I'm just pouring out. Pouring out to y'all. So, drop some knowledge or something. Drop something in the comments. Or shoot me an email, Facebook message, something. Um... I'm sorry to be a Debbie Downer, you guys. I'm trying to be happier. Things are looking brighter, but... <sighs> Being fat Ashley is not working. <laughs>